Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Last time we left off, we were talking about air pressure. We also used page 13 of the Air Science Reference Table, and now we are going to look at air pressure systems or pressure systems. Okay. The first thing to know about pressure systems is that when we measure them and plot them on a map, they are known as isobars. So lines of equal air pressure are known as isobars. Very similar to when we have topographic maps, lines of equal elevation are called contour lines. Here, lines of equal air pressure are called isobars. So we have a map like this, a very typical map that we might see on any different weather channel or news channel. We see that these lines right here follow the same rules as any other contour line. They're just about parallel to each other. They never cross and they start and end. So if we follow this one all the way around, it's going up, 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 and keep going, keep going. They end off the page. So following the same rules of contour lines um, that we've always used before, whether it's topographic map or now when we start looking at uh, uh, weather maps where we have isobars on it. The first type of pressure system we're going to look at are high pressure systems. High pressure systems are also known as anticyclones and their circulation is clockwise. So when we look at the diagram on the right here, these are all different vectors. But what we see is that the resulting wind or air movement that comes out of a high pressure moves in a clockwise fashion. Just on this more simpler diagram on the bottom, we see once again, clockwise fashion. The air also moves out from the center or diverges from the center. So once again, on the top, you can see here, it goes, starts at the high, moving outwards. And clockwise, starting at the high and moving out in a clockwise fashion. High pressure systems are also associated with clear weather. Remember back when we were talking about humidity, that when there's very when that the air is cold it does not hold it does not have the space between the molecules and holds very little moisture also air molecules themselves nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide are also heavier than water molecules so that high pressure air or that more dense air doesn't have the ability to hold moisture so it would make sense that high pressure air also is associated with clear weather A way to remember high pressure systems is with the acronym HOC. High pressure moves outward, U T W A R D, and clockwise. So, just a little something to remember HOC, high pressure, outwards, clockwise, and if we draw a little H here, so it moves outwards and clockwise. Just like that. There you go. The next one up is low pressure systems. And I think these are a little bit more fun, low pressure systems uh, for a couple of reasons coming up. Low pressure systems are also known as cyclones and their circulation is counterclockwise. So if we see here, we start from outside and we move inwards in this counterclockwise fashion. Air also moves in or converges at low pressure systems. So this air, start outwards and like that, like that. So that's our low pressure system. Low pressure systems are also associated with rain or snow, really any bad weather. A way to remember low pressure systems is with lick. Low pressure, inwards, counter clockwise there you have it so if we draw a low pressure system here they normally go inwards like this but it's also going counter clockwise there you go that's your low pressure system or typical air movement around the low pressure system couple of things we need to remember with high and low pressure systems that high pressure air 
is also that sinking air. So you got this fella over here on the left-hand side is a little bit bigger than the rest. And notice that high pressure is pushing down. Over here at the low pressure, yeah, it's a little bit smaller. You can see here, it's going upwards. Low pressure is associated with rain. Moisture is able to rise and form clouds. A little something that we'll be talking about later on. High pressure, it sinks. So clear weather, moisture can't rise. We also have these two little guys in here showing the winds going from high to low. That's something we'll talk about a little bit later. Here's a map. This is looking at the top. Notice we also have our isobars in this map. High pressure right here in the middle, 1,028, 1,024, 1,020. Right here, those are isobars never touching, running parallel to, that, to each other. Notice out in a clockwise motion. Like that. Low pressure over here on the right hand side, isobars around it, 1,012, 1,016. Notice inwards, counterclockwise, around that. If we draw these two systems next to each other, you can see how the high pressure air moving outwards goes in towards or converges at our low pressure. So these are the two systems from overhead next to each other, showing how the air moves from what high pressure towards a low pressure. Another little thing, high and dry, low and snow, just remember the weather that's associated with each high pressure and low pressure systems. This is from a side view, a little bit more three dimensional. Once again, here, we can see our low pressure. Notice how the air goes up. All right. Clouds forming, low pressure, so that's our bad weather. But over here, we can see our high pressure, that's sinking air. Notice how it comes downwards. And then the high pressure air moves towards our low pressure system. Here are some air, question, air pressure questions that I'm going to leave you with. I'm not going to help you answer these now. Maybe in class I'll help you. So lines are equal to air pressure or cold. Okay. Isobars get closer together. What happens to wind speed? and which system is having better weather. Associated with air pressure are units. What units do we use? Well, if you remember back to the one of the last talks with air pressure, we use millibars and inches of mercury. Well, that's not really good enough or that doesn't really help us figure out exactly what a high or a low pressure is or what really is high or low pressure. So there's a couple of things to remember. One, air pressure is measured in millibars or inches of mercury. But the higher the number, the better the weather. Okay, and we'll leave you to convert the inches to millibars. The next time we meet, we'll talk about winds. We briefly brought it up here and there, but I'll save that for next time. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Goodbye.